Hey guys, you know I'm like the number one fan of structured logging. So when I found that there is a new structured log proposal in Golang, I was on, I was all on it. I was all on it. And if you follow me on GitHub, um, not many of you do, you'll <laughs> you'll notice that I've been I have a couple of uh, new repos here. One called Slogfest and one called SlogD. So what I wrote was a little function on top of Slog. I think it's called Slog, Structured Log. That's the proposal, right? And let me just show you how it works. It's inspired by some work on the Apex logging library by TJ Holloway-Chuck. If you don't know who TJ Holloway-Chuck, I mean, you've been living under a rock, really. He's the guy behind Express, he writes really great code. I love reading his code. I love learning from this guy. He's 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 a servant. Um, and I was very much keen to learn how slog works by implementing something that I was familiar with from TJ's library. So what does it do? It simply adds like a, a duration helper when you're when you're working with some. Uh, API calls, like for example, here, let me just make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Say you're doing something kind of expensive, like fetching something off the internet. And normally you would log it like, you know, um, fetching something, and then maybe you would go like slog in, uh, do an info to say you've you finished it, and maybe you would do some time start there. I mean, that's what you should be doing. I, some people just make a complete meal of this, in my opinion, like implementing X-Ray and doing everything complicated just to see this. Um, but so my little function here allows you just to write one line instead of two, perhaps, to say to take in um, a reference to the error. So when it uh, finishes executing this sort of like function, you can only do this one per function. The defer runs and then gives you a nice little output to say how long that thing took. Cool. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty. I, to be honest, I worked a little bit too long on this code. I mean, I think it's in a nice state. But if you have comments below, let, let me know. I haven't really tagged and released it, but you know, whatever. Um, one thing I did also learn while uh, messing around with this is workspaces. So workspaces allows you to work with different modules, different libraries locally. Uh, it creates this, this, this very simple looking um, uh, work file, I don't know what to call this, where you basically reference a thing. So basically it doesn't reference um, the remote thing, it looks at the thing locally. So I can basically work in the library here, change some things, and then, and then see how it, how it functions in my other thing called Slogfest, which basically just tests it. So here I'm just testing <clears throat> uh, that it's doing what I expect it to do. And I think I also do this error case too. So there you have it. You know, a very simple structured logging thing going on here. I think we all have a cool opportunity now in, uh, for, you know, all the go gophers or whatever you call yourselves now has a, a native uh, structured logging library. I mean, there was Logs or Us, there was Uber Zap, there was Apex Log. I'm all for using the native one. You know, if I can keep my go.mod down to a minimum, I'm very happy. And, um, and this is a neat little trick just to show that you don't have to use some heavyweight tracing stuff. You can just log it. And the beauty, beauty of this is that you, you see the logs nice, nicely formatted locally. You know, when you're using these X-ray and things like this, it, it's really difficult to work with unless you, you're connected to the cloud and the internet. Please like the video, comment below. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.